Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm gonna be talking about this whole uh, madness with the brand Balenciaga. Balenciaga, whatever. I don't really give a fuck how it's pronounced. Uh, because as of now, as of uh, when I first found out about this, uh, they're garbage to me. They're worse than scum. They're the scum of the earth. Okay, so uh, I did a little like rough draft uh, of uh, my rant on this, and you know I was just spitballing and all that stuff. And yeah, like uh, the video, uh, I was just rambling on and on. I was in got off topic a few times and stuff like that, so. You know, I decided to write down uh, the order of the topics that I would like to discuss. I wrote them down right here in the notebook. So, the first one, the creepy images with children. Okay, so all this started uh, the way I found out about it is because of Paul Joseph Watson. Now, personally, uh, I wouldn't really hang out with the guy or anything. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do agree with like 90% of the stuff that uh, he says in his videos. And I also like how he said them and um, him making fun of, uh, you know, the crazy politicians, the uh, crazy lefties and all that. So yeah, uh, he um, did a video on this Valenciaga scandal uh, on uh, in his other channel, um, Anything Goes. And so uh, he was talking about how uh, they did a photo shoot with children holding teddy bears that were dressed in bondage gear. And so I looked at it first and I thought that it was no surprise because, uh, you know, there's a drag queen story hours and, uh, and kids going into gay bars and with uh, drag queens dancing and all that stuff. So, you know, I, at first I just thought like, uh, Oh well, that's the crazy left for ya. Now they're doing this bullshit. But yeah, there's uh, something creepy about the images apart from the bears. All the stuff that's in the background, all the stuff that's surrounding uh, the child in the picture the children in the pictures. Okay, so one of them, uh, the kid is standing on the bed uh, holding the bear. First of all, her expression, she's like, uh, what the fuck is going on? I don't want to be here. And I don't know if this kid is like four or five, but I don't know, but Obviously, a kid wouldn't want to be uh, in that uh, photo shoot. And so, yeah, there's other things. Uh, there's a bunny. And what's creepy about it is that, well, there's a bear dressed in bondage and bunnies are, you know, they symbolize sex and all that stuff, so, you know, creepy much. And then there's a background with um, dragons and planets and all that. Now, yeah, dragons, uh, you know, uh, with kids, it's normal. Uh, if uh, they were into World of Warcraft, Harry Potter or something like that, then okay, but since uh, these people, which I will get to this in another video or maybe later in this one if there's time, 
Anyway, so yeah, since these people are, uh, you know, demon worshippers and all that stuff, so, um, you know, it's kind of creepy if uh, they put dragons uh, in the background of that uh, picture. Then there's another one where there's a boy, a little boy in a bedroom. And uh, something uh, significant is that there's a ball of uh, a roll of tape um, with the name of the brand, but instead of one A, it's two. Ball, Ball is a demon uh, who uh, accepts uh, children as sacrifices. So, uh, you know, creepy much. It's very creepy and uh, you know how the saying goes that a picture is worth a thousand words. So, uh, you know, like, what does it mean, you know? I didn't put it there just uh, because it was an oopsie or something like that. It wasn't a nip slip from a bikini photo shoot for Victoria's Secret or anything. This is something uh, creepy uh, with children, so, um, you know, they damn well knew what they were doing. And so also, apart from this tape, there's also a chair and it has a tape wrapped around it. And another thing that I forgot to say about the tape is that it's yellow. Um, and yellow tapes are used for two things. Caution, as in, uh, you know, somewhere where you shouldn't step a foot in there or anything. And also the police line, do not cross, you know, because of crime scene and whatnot. So it's like, why put that in a chair in a little boy's uh, bedroom? Or is it like uh, someone got murdered in the chair or something? Um, did something, uh, you know, horrifying happen on that chair? And there's also uh, beer cans uh, surrounding the boy. Uh, and beer cans, I'm saying, because uh, they have the fonts, the logos of, uh, you know, uh, well-known beers, um, but with Balenciaga written on it, written on them. <coughs> and with candles, and they're around the boy, so uh, again, creepy. Because um, when you have candles around something or someone, it's like a sacrifice or uh, that you're like summoning uh, some dark energy or some shit. I don't believe in any of that stuff, but, uh, you know, if they're associating it with a child, then, you know, it's fucked up. And in the background, uh, there's a drawing of the devil. So, uh, you know, uh, creepy. And also, um, yeah, to anyone, it would look innocent enough. Because uh, it's, it's drawn how uh, a little kid would draw the devil, you know, uh, red uh, with the horns and all that. I mean, I remember as a little kid, I drew a devil when, when uh, I drew uh, a picture of what the hell would look like. Like, oh, hey, uh, yeah, and here's the devil. He has the little horns and stuff like that. Uh, you know, innocent kid drawing, but with this, it's creepy. And also, in another corner of that picture, there's uh, the same bear that the little girl in the previous picture was holding. Okay, so yeah, anyway, um, sorry I uh, had to cut the video, got distracted because, you know, some bitch from a phone company called me. Anyway, 
So yeah, in the corner of that room, there's a bear that the little girl in the previous picture that I was talking about was holding. So there's that in the corner, uh, the chair with the tape, uh, the roll of the tape with two A's, you know, for the demon. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's like, what are you portraying there? Because uh, when I see all those things together, it's like, um, if you're trying to, uh, you know, say that the child was abused uh, in the room and that the abuse happened on that chair, that's why it's covered in uh, police tape. Uh, you know, creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about this uh, in a few minutes, so uh, stay tuned.